Hello, hello, hello everyone. It is Teresa from Teresa Silhouette Spot for All Things Art, where I love sharing art from my heart and teaching creatives and crafters how to paint for fun and profit. Welcome y'all to 13 Days of Halloween. We are about to get this party started with a little hocus pocus. So, um, how is everyone? I'm gonna get started painting and then we can chit chat if you like. So I'm gonna just do this and do this. So you guys, I have a little friend here to join us. I have a couple little, little witch's hat here and we're doing Hocus Pocus. So if you wanna know why I did this, so I started out, this is a design by line from Diverse Woodworking. So it's already, it's etched, but you can't even feel the etch. The etch is so light, you wouldn't even know it was here. So I started in, the first thing I did was take some yellow ochre and I painted over all the letters because I want to do my letters in gold and gold is a bit translucent. It's a gold metallic paint from Plaid Folk Art Paints and it is gorgeous, but it's a little translucent. So when I use it, I put some sort of yellow, golden yellow, honey color underneath. So what I did, I roughly painted over the lettering because you know what? It was going around them in black, so it didn't matter how neat it was. So I roughly painted over the lettering in the yellow, and now I'm going in and I'm doing the black. And I started going around my lettering because sometimes painting around the lettering is a little tedious. And so I figured, you know what? Maybe some of y'all don't want to sit here while I paint in between every nook and cranny of these letters. So I started them without you. Sorry, but I did. And then we will continue and do the fun stuff together. And so while I'm explaining this to you, I'm just going in and I'm filling in the little areas that I didn't get before because I didn't switch brushes. Okay. So, you know, you have to do all the insides of some of the letters. And there we go. So thank you guys for joining me. I think that's it. Maybe up here. Okay. So it is 13 days of Halloween. I am so excited. So since ever my girls were little, if you're on my email list, you got that really cool picture of, um, my kids from one Halloween many, many years ago when they were Luna and Molly, a clown and her dolly on the big comfy couch. I should find the picture again and share it with all of you because I don't, maybe you guys are feeling left out because you didn't see my Luna and Molly costumes because you weren't on my email list. Um, if you want to get on my email list, I have a free offer for you, but I digress. Anyway, so ever since my girls were little, we have loved Halloween. I think we have loved Halloween sometimes more than Christmas, if that's possible. I don't know. I should ask them. It's probably somewhat equal, but you know, when they were small, kids love getting gifts. So I'm not going to say really overruled Christmas, but maybe. Anyway, so we would, um, we did family costumes. We would dress up um, all together, went all out decorating outside, made actual leaf stuffed um, scarecrows. It was a lot of fun. And so my girls even like it. And my, my one daughter, my older daughter, daughter number one, she lives um, in Atlanta, Georgia, in her own apartment. She's been there a couple of years now. And she decorates you guys I've asked her for pictures. She took a video, um, so I have to get it from her. She decorates you guys like you would not believe. Her apartment and her Halloween decorations are gorgeous. It's just, it's just amazing. So I will share pictures with her. I've asked her for them, so as soon as I get them from her, I will share them. So anyway, I planned this 13 days of Halloween because it's fun and we like it and I enjoy the art and I enjoy the colors 
So I am having eight of my creative friends on here. Tomorrow is um, Amy from Wix Wax Candles. We will have Marion from Creative Corner, Teresa from Jeremiah Dreams, Amy from ADP Designs, um, June from Junebug. Who else? Oh, my friend Rhonda Gage, who does um, crocheting. My friend Christy, who does jewelry. Was that eight, you guys? I don't know. Did I do eight? Oh, my friend Michelle Baker. She'll be on here. That might be eight now. But um, if I left you out, I apologize. I will post the schedule in here. It is in the events, too, if you're wondering. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It is Halloween. It's not fall. I know Halloween is not for everyone, but it is for us here at Teresa's Silhouette Spot. So I have, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus ready to go. Let me wash my brush. All right. I'm going to turn this around. Otherwise, I'm going to put all my hands in the black. I have this little tan color, and I'm going to mix it with a little white because I don't want it that dark. So I'm going to put a little bit of white out. And I'm going to start by doing all the flesh tone. Okay. Who has seen the second Hocus Pocus? If you saw the second Hocus Pocus, let me know. I did not see it. My Halloween loving daughters saw it. Let me know what you thought. I heard good things about it. I heard if you um, that the first one was better, but that the second one was good also. So just let me know what you thought of it if you saw it. I will be watching it. I just haven't yet. So I mixed up um, a little white and this, I think it's fawn. And I'm gonna go right over the etching for the eyebrows and the etching for the eyes. I don't wanna go over the lips because that's gonna be red and I don't wanna mess that up. So I'll try and be neat. I love these design by line. They're so easy to follow. My wood kits, if I use these wood kits, they come already traced and ready to go in my um, art kits. Otherwise, um, if my kit has a canvas on it, I pre-trace the canvas. I like my painters to have as much success as possible when they're painting. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, and then before you know it, you get discouraged. It's too hard. Um, nope. I want my painters to be as successful as possible when they paint. So, when you hop on, please put hashtag replay. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you're a Halloween person. You know what? Let me know. Here we go. If you are a Halloween person and you celebrated Halloween as a child, let me know if you remember your favorite costume. I remember my favorite costume. My mom was an amazing seamstress, amazing, talented woman. And my mother used to make all my costumes. And one year, her and my friend um, Linda's mother, the two of them sewed, and one year they made us Raggedy Ann and Andy. It was professional, y'all. Those were such beautiful costumes. My, I mean, I had been a clown. I had been, I think I was a monkey once. Um, what else? See, I can't even remember. I remember a few things, but by far my favorite costume was that Raggedy Ann and Andy. I wish I wish I had pictures. I wonder if Linda, so my friend Linda is on the Facebook. I should see if she has pictures. I'm, I'm gonna find out, I'll get on that, you guys. So yeah, while you're watching and you hop on, let me know what your favorite costume was if you celebrated Halloween when you were growing up. I'm just curious. 
So I'm going in and I can paint right over. I, first of all, I base coated um, the wood white. If I didn't base coat, I would need to um, do two coats. So I base coated white before I even came on. And then like I said, before I started with you guys live, sorta, um, I did the lettering. Because the lettering is a little tedious and I can only talk so much. So this way I figured I would do the lettering and then we would get into the fun stuff when I painted. But as you know, I had a little technical di difficulty. So this is now, this is a faux live, y'all. I had to pre-record it and you will get to enjoy it just as well. Because we are celebrating 13 days of Halloween. Does that mean that Halloween is in 13 days? No. It just means that this was the best schedule for me and my creative friends to do this. Okay, so don't be thinking, oh my God, Halloween's 13 days away. It is not 13 days away. And yes, I can do math, um, but that was not the reason. Okay, so let me turn this back around. So now I just have, um, oh, gotta do some necks here. My cauldron. And I'm starting with the faces. This way when we do the hair, the hair will fix any imperfections where I may have gone out of the line or maybe I wasn't as neat as I should have been. So there is always a reason why I paint certain things first and other things second, third, fourth, whatever. Okay. I want what we're going to see. Uh, that's, no, actually, this is neck. And then this, I thought this was neck. That's chin. So I like what we're going to see. I'm just adding a little bit of shading and highlighting now to the neck um, to be last. So those will be the layers, the details, the fun part that gets painted last. The base coat and the background, we don't worry about. Well, we worry about it, but it's since we paint them first, when we continue, that's when we clean stuff up. Now this got a little dark up here because I was using my brush. So she looks like the Bride of Frankenstein. So I gotta even this out a little bit. There we go. So didn't we have some beautiful weather this weekend, you guys? I couldn't believe it. I actually went out and did some yard work. Mostly cleaning up, putting stuff away because now winter's coming. Stuff like that. Okay. So which one shall I do first? I don't know. And I have some neon colors here. Look at these cool colors I have. This is not a neon, but I have lime green, neon orange, and neon purple. Isn't that cool? So maybe we will start with her. What do you think? I'll get out some purple. Okay. I am so excited for this 13 days of Halloween, you guys. I also will be dropping in a link because um, next Friday, I will be doing a little bit of black in there because I want to darken it up. I will be doing Cat in the City. And I have a free tracer. 
and supply list. So if you want to paint with me, you can. We'll be painting that um, a week from Friday. I'll put the post in here. I'll put the link in here. So if you want to get the tracer and the um, supply list, you can, and we can paint together. Now I'm just going to go in and start painting in her hair. I think she's also going to need two coats. Especially with this um, neon paint. There we go. You know what I might do? I might put a little bit of yeah, Juneberry in there. This is one of my favorite colors. Juneberry. Love it. Let me turn it around. So you guys, look, I got a little costume going on here. I put on some fun jewelry. Got a little headpiece going. Put a little decorations behind me. Who has kids that are going to be dressing up? I believe most of my followers, if you don't have kids, you have grandkids. So do you know what everybody's being for Halloween? We don't get too many trick-or-treaters here. I don't get hardly any trick-or-treaters, actually. It used to be a real bummer when my kids were little. Because they would be like, oh, we want to get the door, we want to get the door. And then we'd have like, you know, three trick-or-treaters the whole entire night. And two of them would be like the neighbors that we knew. And then the other one would be you know, a 15 year old kid who wasn't even dressed up. <laughs> so, all right. Get a little bit of this Juneberry in here. So, I did the um, neon paint first, which I liked, but it was a little translucent, and I needed to do a second coat anyway. But I'm liking now how that actually made like some shading to this. As I go back in with the Juneberry. Okay. So we have her base coated in. I'm going to get out a little bit of this neon orange. I'm going to do the same thing. I have my neon, but I'm going to mix it with a regular bright orange as well. There we go. You like my little guys here? I love my little ghost and my jack-o'-lantern. Guys, I was all set. I was all set for this. So sad. Okay. So moving on, I'm going to get my neon and my bright orange and we're going to start painting in here. So who has seen Hocus Pocus more than once? The original. Who has seen the original Hocus Pocus more than three times? Anyone? 
I probably, I'm probably one of those people that have seen it um, five times. I would say five times would be a fair estimate that I've seen the movie Hocus Pocus. So I'm using both colors here. I'm using the neon and the regular multi-surface orange, uh, yeah, bright orange. I think it's called pure orange. And I like how it's looking and some of it is more opaque and some of it is more see-through, but it's given a really nice shade and highlighted kind of coverage just from the nature of the paint. Oop, picked up a little purple there. And again, this is just the first coat of the hair. Okay. Oh, you know what I think I did? I think this is supposed to be her red dress. I have to go over that. That's okay. We'll just let that dry. And I'm going to get out some regular yellow. Okay. And then a little bit. I have some hot pink here. Neon pink too. Got some little neon pink, a little neon purple, a really bright lime green, and neon orange. I figured why not? What else would you use neon paint for, right? If you're not going to use them for like a really cool Halloween painting. Now I could be using a bigger brush, um, but then I have to keep going back and forth. And every time I switch brushes, I would have to be worrying about the brush. So I'm just gonna use this little brush for the whole entire thing and not worry about going back and forth and switching. And again, these are the bubbles from the cauldron. We want the bubbles to be on top. So that's why I'm doing the hair first and the bubbles will be to the background. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the yellow okra and I'm gonna start blending it in here to add a little bit of highlights to the yellow. A little bit more up in here yeah okay I'm gonna go back to the yellow and I'm gonna do this side and I'd like our brush strokes to all go the same way so one side of the hair it's parted in the middle goes to the left and then the other part of the hair comes down to the right and that's how we want our brush strokes to go. So this one curves and follows the shape of the face. Again, I'm going to get a little bit of this yellow okra and add in some little bit of highlights. to the hair. And if you over blend, you can pick up some more of the bright yellow. If you start to lose your highlights, just go back in and add them in. Okay. And 
and I'm just gonna keep bouncing around. Let me do, got a lot of paint out for this one. Our um, bubbles from our cauldron. Put in those. And you could really do this any color you want. If you want to make your bubbles blue or red or green, I guess it is a little bit more Halloween-y to think about what's churning up in this cauldron and it's green and it's scary, but feel free to use the colors you have or the colors you like. It's all good. I'm just trying to get in here and I smeared a little bit of black on there before but I'm not gonna worry about that because you guys know the rules right if you want to fix something I did in fact to drop my um, paintbrush down there if you want to fix something you wait for it to dry you be patient and you wait for it to completely dry and then you can go back and fix whatever it is that you messed up if you want to blend you want both your colors, your surface and your paint that's on your brush to be nice and wet. Wet paint blends. And if you want to fix or enhance, you need completely dry paint. So you're going to have to have some patience and um, wait for stuff to dry. So if you want to paint with me next Friday, I think it's the, so what was 14, the 21st, no, the 21st, no, the 28th. If you want to paint with me on the 28th, I'll pop the link in here and you can sign up and get the free tracer and supply list. And then you can come and we'll have a free paint party on October 28th. It's a Friday night. And if you can't make it, it's still part of um, the 13 days of Halloween. But if you can't make it, the video will stay up for you to paint at another time. Maybe you want to get a few friends together and either watch me live or do it a different night. That's totally up to you guys. It'll be here and it's not going anywhere. So if you wanna get the supplies, get the paint, get a few friends together, it is a party on October 28th, right here on the page. If you follow me in my free group this month, um, all the art, the free class that I do once a month in my free group, Teresa's Spot for Step-by-Step -Step Acrylic Art, will be this painting on Friday night, October 28th in this group. So I made a post in the group. If you haven't seen it, it's in there. I don't want anybody to be confused, so I had to get out in front of it. Um, and yes, we'll be painting our free class this month right here on the main page. The more the merrier, right? I did give you guys the trace. I think I get, oh, maybe I didn't upload them yet. But I will be giving you guys the tracer. You guys don't have to sign up and get the tracer and the supply list. I will give it to you. But if you're not in my free group, feel free to join my free group. But if you're not in my free group, um, you can sign up and get the tracer and the supply list. Now I'm not gonna do her hair over because I liked it and I like how I did the highlights in there. 
I am just going to give a second coat. I'm going to get a little white and this pink. And I'm going to give a second coat to her shoulder here. Okie doke. So now comes the fun, you guys. Now it's going to get really interesting because now we're going to start adding all the details. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to, um, I need to fix the chin here a little bit. I'm going to start doing the lettering. I'm going to start adding all the highlights and the shading. I'm going to do the, should I do the lips last? I think I am going to do the lips last because then I think they will just totally pop. Okay. I'll do the eyes first though. Let me get a liner brush. There we go. Turn them around again. Okay. All right. The first thing I want to do is the eyes. And this is a little cheating, you guys, honestly. And this is like another little trick. Eyes are hard, y'all. Eyes are hard. So you know what? Instead of fighting or not being happy with them or stressing yourself out or me stressing myself out look how cool it is that we just do closed eyes and eyelashes right what's better than that you don't have to worry about um making the eyes perfect you don't have to worry about having you know like awesome pupils because eyes will make or break your design. Even when painting animals, there's a knack to doing eyes, you guys. And if you're, um, you could have like the nicest painting and then you go in and you try and do the eyes or you want to do the eyes open forget it unless you are you know really good at them and I will do them from time to time but I don't stress myself out over it I just as soon have closed eyes like this and say say la vie even sometimes on my um, snowmen you'll see that I'll use my happy snowman, he's got a big squinty grin, and then he has closed eyes. Why not? I want a little bit of this other pink here that I have. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think so far? on some pink sheets yeah not too dark not too big and don't forget if you come over here and you do your cheeks and they're a little too pink and rosy for you you can just go right back over them with the light tan the flesh color that you painted on to begin with and start all over it's just paint y'all you can fix anything I'm practically dry brushing on this pink. You can see the swirls I'm making and making. There was like hardly any paint on my brush and I was just swirling it around there. Okay, what should we do? Should I do the, I'm gonna do the lettering. I'm gonna get out the gold. 
and I'm going to do the lettering because I want to save the face for last because you guys are going to see once I add in the lips and the highlights to the hair and whatnot, it's just going to pop, 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 pop. So now I have out this metallic gold paint and I'm going to paint over all the letters. And again, this is why, I don't know if you can see it's all shimmery. It's really gorgeous. I'll try and hold it up. But this is why I put in the um, yellow ochre underneath. Because it really makes the gold pop. Can you see that? I messed this up a little bit right there. But can you see how shiny that is? It's really cool. It's a little different because it's a metallic paint. It's a little different than adding glitter because you could still go in and add glitter over the top of this if you wanted. But using metallic paints and using um, glitter paints are totally different. They have a different finish and they look totally different. I'm just using this little brush and I'm going in and I'm painting around my lettering. My lettering is not perfect, you guys. I could have went back in with the yellow ochre and fixed it up a little bit. I'm not going to worry about that. Not like I still couldn't. But I think for what we're doing here, it's just fine. Now, I don't really letter yet. I'm working on it. I've been practicing my lettering. But even when I sign my initials, you can really only just go one way with the brush. And that to me is always like pulling down. You can't really use a brush to like write and go two different ways. So each part of the letter is separate. Well, I guess what I'm saying is you can't really reverse directions. So you're either going to be pulling up or pulling down for all of the strokes. Because although you will use a liner brush or a little brush, almost like a pencil or a pen, you can really only just go one way with it. And I'm still going to add a little bit of white highlight to the lettering too. So that'll help neaten it all up a little bit. Okay. There we go. So there's our letters. You can see they're little, little shimmery. And there we go. Back to my liner brush. Okay. Alrighty, you guys. Let me hold it up. Oops. So what do you think so far? Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. So now I'm going to start adding in all the highlights and a little bit more shading and it is going to pop. You guys like my decorations? Oh, look. Full of paint. Here it is. Full of paint. Full of paint. A mess. Um, like my decorations? I tell you guys, 13 days of Halloween. I was very excited for this and I was going all out. Okay. So when I had the technical difficulty before, it was quite upsetting to me. But alas, we figured it out and I am here. I hate to disappoint you guys. I am 
I'm just adding in these highlights according to the etching on the design here. It's fairly easy. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You don't even have to like think about it. Okay. Now with her, where is it? I guess I'll get the red. Oh, this red's closed yet? Okay. So I wanted to go over her shirt and then I want to add the red to her hair. There we go. Okay, a little red here. This is engine red? Apple red. It's gorgeous, you guys. I don't use this bright red a lot. I like a deeper red. I will use the cardinal red. It's more deeper. It's not as bright. Maybe it's got like a brown base in it. Um, but for this, with the neon colors and it being Halloween, I broke out the apple red. And it is so vibrant. I'm loving it. I don't even use a lot of the apple red at Christmas either. I like the deeper color of the um, cardinal red. Okay, so there's her red outfit. Now I'm going to get my liner brush out and I'm going to stick with the red. And I'm going in and I'm adding the red details to her hair. I know you guys can always tell when I'm concentrating, right? I get real quiet. Okay. Oh my God, you guys look at cute. So cute. So cute. Come in here a little bit closer to there, yeah. Okay. Ugh, so cute, so cute. Okay. Now, with her, I need a little fresh white. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to, again, follow the same etched lines. That we have. This one's gonna be a little bit longer. There we go. I got a little bit up there. Okay. I want to go over her eyebrows once again. I don't think they're dark enough. There we go. I'm adding a little bit of highlight to each of the bubbles. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to the cauldron. Oops. 
Oh my god, you guys hear my fingernails? Like nails on a chalkboard. Mm. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. And a little bit. I don't know if I like that or not. We'll see. No, I think I'm going to stick with the gold. I think I'm going to stick with the gold. So we will go back and fix that with the gold. Okay. So now, let's get to the lips. Oops. And again, even though these are all shaped out for us. I still want my brush strokes to all go one way and to follow the curves of the little pouty lips. Okay. I could get a big fat brush and I could go in here and just fill them in, but it really makes a difference when you have your brush strokes going the way they're supposed to go and following the direction of whatever it is you're painting. So I can outline them, but then when I go in and fill in, I want my brush strokes to go the way of the shape. So I curve a little bit on the top and I curve a little bit on the bottom. Oops, and then last but not least. And again, the same thing. So I filled them all in, and now I'm going back in, and I'm just filling, fixing my brush strokes so they all go in the same direction. There we go. Look how cute that is, you guys. Now I put my hand over here in the white, so I'm going to fix that. Okay. I got a little orange up here on her hair, so I'm going to fix that. See you guys, wait for it to dry. Just wait for it to dry, and then you can come back in and fix almost anything, okay? Let's have a little bit of highlight on her sleeve. A little bit of highlight here on shoulders and her neck, and in here. Like that. Okay. Then I might go around. I don't know if I'm going to want to do this, but we'll try. I think I'm going to add a little bit of shadow in here. So these elements really pop. Just a little bit. I'm not going to go in and start outlining every single feature and all the entire face, but I'm picking up a little bit of black. It's not as dark as my other lines. And I'm just lightly going around the faces. I think it really accents 
the shapes and the uniqueness of their faces. Again, you don't have to do this. It's up to you. Last but not least, I am going to attempt to outline the lips. Okay, I'm going to thin up my paint a little bit. I want my paint to be easier to flow. Just dip my brush in a little bit of water, but we don't want it to like go falling everywhere. And then I'm going to come in here. An outline. If you go over a little bit, don't worry. Just let it dry and we can fix it. got a little bit over here so I want to fix this I got a little bit over here so I want to fix this okay and then this is a little thick in here so I want to add some red back in there there we go And then I'm gonna go back in and fix my lettering over the white. I was gonna do a little bit of highlighting, then I decided not to. So there we go, you guys. Let me turn it around. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. So what do you guys think? So thank you for joining me for the first night of 13 days of Halloween. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Up tomorrow is uh, my friend Amy from Wix Wax Candles. Let's see, I can click over here and I can tell you guys the whole schedule. So. Where is it? That's not me. Discussion, here we go. Alrighty. Tomorrow is Amy from Wix Wax Candles. Um. The next day is Angie from ADP Design Studios. October 20th is June from Created with Love by Junebug. I will be back on the 21st. Oh, no, not me. Teresa from Jeremiah Dreams is back on, is here on the 21st. I thought so. The 22nd is Rhonda. She'll be crocheting. Then I will be back on the 23rd and the 24th. Then on the 25th, we have Christy with Christy E. Creation. She'll be doing jewelry. The 26th is Michelle with Divine Design by Michelle. Marion will be on the 27th for Creators Corner, from Creators Corner Studio. And then I will be back on the 28th and the 29th. So if you did not um, see the link, I will be posting the link. You can get the supply list and the tracer. And you can paint with me on the 28th. We will be doing um, the city cat with the uh, moon. City cat. So anyway, um, thank you guys. Don't forget homework. Nah, I'm kidding. But yeah, let me know what your favorite costume was and put hashtag replay if you're watching this on the replay. 
Thank you, everyone. Have a great night.